Greetings folks, this is me again. Uh, this time I'll be talking to you a little bit more about the DNA test. I posted a video and I posted a few pictures on Facebook. So a lot of people are kind of aware of the process and what I got going on. The people who ask a lot of questions, hopefully I cover a few of the questions here. Questions like, um, what is the DNA test about? Why am I getting it? What is it going to tell me? Where did I get it from? How much does it cost? When will I get my results? All of these things. So I'm, I'm going to try to speed this up so it's not really too long. But I do want you to get a pretty good idea of what it is. There's a few uh, companies out there. I decided to go with 2, 3, and me. And the reason I picked them was because as I was looking into DNA tests, they seem to offer the most bang for your buck. Some of them trace your mother's lineage, some of them trace your father's lineage, you know, and uh, this actually does both. And then I'm going to show you some uh, screenshots as well as far as how it breaks it down and what you can expect if you decided to go through them. You know, I, I, I don't get paid regardless, but I just think that this was the best one for the buck. Uh, the reason I decided to go with the DNA test, I mean, it's for multiple reasons, really. The number one reason for me as to what made me really want to get it is because of the, the word black. The race black, the ethnicity black, uh, everything about black. I don't know what country black is. I don't know what language black speaks. I don't. I don't. I don't black doesn't sit well for me. And it kind of came about when uh, my daughter. My daughter's like the cause of everything. She's the reason that I delved into religion and really tried to understand religion and all of that. And here we go again now with race. You know, she's she's real artistic, and um, we're talking about colors and all of that. And ended up saying, you know, we we're comparing skin colors. Her mother's light skin. I'm brown skin, and she's a uh, in between. So we laugh and joke in the house saying, you know, black, brown, white, all the, you know, funny things like that. But it's kind of hard for me to tell my daughter she's black when she's not black. My hair is hardly black, so her skin surely isn't black. So because it didn't pass her logic test, and it shouldn't have, it made me question it. So I, when questioning, I was like, wow, why, why are we saying that? Why do, why do we as a people, why are we so proud to say I'm black and I'm proud? I mean... So then I went to the extreme. I was like, well, I'm African. I'm African. Because I'm under the impression that I descended from the slaves like, like most of us. Watched a few documentaries. Some of the most black people you know are not majority African. You know, people were coming back 60-70% uh, Irish. And random things of that nature. But I say that to say it all created a, wow, I really want to know versus guess. You know, and I, wow, we've been guessing for so long. Uh, my father's family, they tell me, uh, my grandfather was Indian, you know, he, he's half Indian. I don't know if he's Indian or not, but that's what they say. We gonna find out, you know. Um, another big reason for me, I was, I, was in, I was in the Middle East. I was in the Middle East for a while. Uh, once upon a time, I was in the military, so I spent a lot of time over the Middle East. While I'm over there, a lot of them thought I was them. And this is not just... The Africans that are there, these are the Middle Easterners that were there. What we see on TV isn't necessarily what you see walking around town. And uh, they thought I was them. So they approached me with their language and I'm, uh, you know, no, I'm just American. And I don't know anything, you know. But it was like, wow, if these people are embracing me, then clearly I must look like whatever is from there. And then you talk about the origin of man and all that, you know. But I'm going to save all that. What we ought to do, get back to this. Two, three of me. Um, I haven't even unwrapped it. I've been delaying for the longest of time. Nervous, nervous, real nervous. That's really the main reason. But uh, I'm ready to. I'm ready to move. I'm ready to move. And what I expect to get from this is an an identity of sorts. You know, so I, I don't have to say I'm black anymore. I can say, oh well, I'm. I don't know. I'm from Senegal. That's where my people are from. You know, hopefully something like that real strong. You know, but whatever it is, I'm cool with it. If I'm Irish, I'm cool with that too. But I do intend to take a name, a last name, of whatever country or lineage I'm from due to the fact that the slavery situation did. You know, my name is definitely not the name of wherever I'm from. I do know that. And whatever my name is, it comes from 
the person who owned my bloodline once upon a time. So I'm really not feeling that. Um, so for the future's sake, so my children can identify with the name versus just under a slave master's name, like the property, you understand? That's that's really important to me. Uh, so when, that's that's the number one reason why I want this test, you know, for my children. So they don't grow up in the darkness that I grew up in. Hopefully I can lighten their load. But anyway, we'll go ahead and unwrap this thing. Shameless plug. Amore Imaging. Check it out. Uh, two, three, and me. Welcome to you. I, I thought that was really, really nice. Really nice. Welcome to you. So this is saying that I have to register the kit. Um, it appears that I spit into it to fill it up. Drop it in the bag. And mail it back to them. Something real simple. No needles. Nothing complex from what I'm seeing. They say register it or your sample will not be processed unless it's registered. So I already have a profile online. I'll show you some screenshots of that as well. Um, open up the kit. Got instructions. My specimen bag that I bag up my filled tube in. And my spit cup. <laughs> this is a spit cup. You know. This is interesting. Anyway, I'm gonna spare you the. Should I spit on the camera? Nah. I I'll show you when I bag it all up, and we'll we'll move on from there. But anyway, you get the idea. All right. Yeah, y'all missed the good spit, you know. It took a couple spits to fill up the line. Um, interesting. But now they say unscrew the the top, put the other top on, and then shake it. What what you did miss? There was some fluid in the top of this that actually mixed with the saliva. I imagine it's some kind of preservative or something like that um, that they need. So at this point, I simply bag this back up and put it back in the box and send it off. So next time you guys hear from me, it'll be telling you what the results are and sharing the outcome with you. I'm opening up my life to you, hoping that you're inspired to, you know, Find out for yourself. You know, some of us know, some of us aren't privileged at all. So, you know, for clarity's sake, I mean, why not? It, it's, it, it costs two ninety nine. I say that it was two ninety nine, oh, and I believe most of them, if you find them like uh, just one side of your lineage, it's it's a hundred dollars in general. But doing this, it was both, and it, I gotta really go into the the perks and benefits of the the two three of me why I went with them. But that'll probably be another video because I feel like I'm already rambling. But, uh, oh, coupon codes. I got a coupon code for $50 off, so it was in up $249 and whatever the shipping was. But anyway, it, it was, it sounds expensive on the surface, but, you know, if you have an iPhone, you have a Galaxy 3, if you have any of these cool things, you know, same cost. And to me, it's, it's so, so, so much more important. Don't cry over the money. The money will come back. The knowledge is, is worth so much more than that. It's worth so much more than that. There's people that's privileged and, you know, they already know this stuff. Most of us don't. So, next time, probably three to five weeks they said it takes. So, next time I see you guys, beard might be a little bit bigger. I'll have a little bit more knowledge.